Hi, I'm Bonnie Polizzi. I'm a gallery owner and custom framer, but I'm also the inventor of the Crescent's new flexible accents. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you how simple it is to do what we call our mitered corner mat. This is extremely easy to do. It looks extremely elegant, and I'm sure you're going to impress your customers. What you do is you start first with a double mat. After you've, you've decided the measurements, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this top mat. I'm going to show you how I cut the four corners. And so what we're going to do is we're going to first put this into the straight edge cut cutter on your mat cutter. And I usually do one corner at a time rather than trying to line the whole mat up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in and then cut directly down. When I do this to each corner, you're going to end up with four pieces. Each piece will have their own diagonal cut on them. Now you can do this design both with a bevel cut or a reverse bevel cut. But this right now has a straight cut and we do have to decide which design we're going to use. Because I've done all four corners, you would do all four corners here. But for time restraints, I'm going to show you what I would do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bevel to each side of these. I really, really like the bevel look, so this is normally what I do in my designs. With your mat piece facing you face up, I put this into the cutter, and then you can decide how much mat you want to cut up. The more mat you cut off, the larger the opening will be. In this case, I want to do it a little bit smaller. Put this in, cut it straight down. We do the same on each side, and then we would continue this with all four pieces. So now what you've done is you've ended up with your triangular piece that has a miter on either side. What I've done is I've pre-cut these so that that way you can see how each of them will be placed. Now you've got to decide what color accent you might like to enhance your framing design with. When you have your accent, all you need to do is take your first piece, peel a little bit of the release paper off, and just start applying it to your mitered edge. Apply it, to, apply it to this piece and then you're going to find that you have an automatic line here that will show you exactly where to cut. Just take your craft blade, put it right into the edge, not cutting through the core, but cutting through enough so that you're right up close to the core of your accent. Carefully bend it and just walk it. across in the top of your mat. Again, we're going to do the same application with our craft knife. Again, I've cut it. We can just bend it, walk it around. I'm going to cut off each of them at the bottom. This shows you how easy it is to apply your accent to your miter corner piece. You would be doing this to all four pieces. In this particular case, we've used the white mat with white accent. We've actually spaced these apart. If you would so choose, you can also do a wonderful design. And rather than spacing them, you can actually butt them up so that each piece will meet snug with the other one. So it'll give you a totally different look. Now it's your turn to put the custom back and custom framing with flexible accents by Crescent. Thank you.